Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habata fi Allah ahla hadith or ahla sunnati wal jama'a or ahla athar or uh, the salaf al salih or the many other names that they go by and they've went by through the centuries is all one ahla athar that they are all of those who adhere to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they adhere to the book in the Sunnah of the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam and the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam said Ma tazal ta'ifatun min ummati dhahirin al haqq hatta ya'tihum amr allahum ala thalik o kama qala nabiyu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said there won't cease to be a group from my nation on the truth uh, until the hour is established and that's in one narration and many of the Ulama of Hadith, they explain that they are Ahla Hadith, like Imam Bukhari and, and Kathir and Kathir Minhum, Imam uh, Ibn Hajar al Askalani, him. Listen to this beautiful, uh, this is in uh, a book uh, I purchased uh, this year at the Ma'rid, the, the, the book exhibition in Medina. Uh, it's bo- a book by Sheikh Rabi ibn Hadi al Madhali, Hafidullah Ta'ala. It's called Iqna, and it's a very nice book. It's called uh, Iqna. So it's basically statements of the imams of the Aimat Dawah, meaning the the like Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab and his grandsons and son and and the ulama in the nudged area, you know, in, in, in this region. And some of these statements are very nice which just are just strengtheners and reminders for us of the importance of sticking to the book and the sunnah and not being distracted by the other jama'at the other groups and sects and other methodologies which can turn us away from the book and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu and the madhab of the salaf salih so sheikh islam uh, muhammad ibn abdul wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala he said with the kanat sa'ada al awwalin wal akhirin hiya bi ittiba'al mursalin فمن المعلوم أن أحق الناس بذلك أعلمهم بآثار المرسلين واتبعهم واتبعهم لذلك فالعالمون بأقوالهم وأفعالهم المتبعين المتبعون لها هم أهل السعادة في كل زمان ومكان وهم طائفة ناجية من أهل كل مل كل ملة أهل كل ملة وهم أهل سنة والحديث من هذه الأمة. so he said a very nice statement. he said and if uh, happiness was achieved by those who preceded us, meaning the Salaf al-Salih, and and the ones who came later from their adherence to what the the messengers, alayhim after the salatu wasalam, were sent with. Then it is well known that the people, the most deserving of people, with this, you know, with this happiness and with this title, uh, is the people who are the most knowledge about the narrations of the Mursaleen, of the, uh, the the prophets, meaning the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam specifically, and the most adherent to that. Meaning they are most adherent to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and those who practice. This is the hard part for a lot of us. فَالْعَالِمُونَ بِأَقْوَالِهِمْ So those who are uh, who know their statements and their actions, and they are the followers of them. They are the people of happiness. During all times and in all places, meaning Ahl Sunnah is everywhere. You'll find Ahl Sunnah. You'll find a, a group of them from them probably in China right now. Wahum najia, and they are the 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 saved sect from the people of all the religions, and they are the people of the Sunnah and Hadith from this Ummah. So his son. Imam Abdullah ibn Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala he said wa ma'lum anna ahl al-hadith hum a'dham tawa'if al-ummah bahthan wa ma'rifatan bi sunnah sunnati rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa la yunaza' fi dhalik illa 
adun lillah wa li rasulihi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa li ibadihi al mu'minin so he said rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatan wasi'a he said and it's known that ahl hadith they are the 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 greatest group from this nation in researching and knowing meaning knowing and uh, knowing the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and there is no one who disagrees with this except for the enemy of allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and meaning an enemy of the uh righteous muslims those who bad he also said ولا يبغض العلماء أهل الحديث ويتكلم فيهم إلا من هم من أهل البدعة والكذب والفجور. He also said, and no one hates the scholars of hadith and speaks ill about them except the people of أهل البدعة and lies and wickedness. So that's just a reminder, Habatifillah, the importance of adhering to the book and the sunnah and the understanding of the salaf, the, narrate, the narrations, adhering to it, adhering to Ahla Hadith in our time, the ulama Rabbaniyun, ulama sunnah, ulama hadith, ulama al athar, and loving them and striving to be like them and making sure that we practice to the best of our ability to come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, worshiping Him and following Ahl Hadith in every way, meaning following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu was salam in His manners, in His aqidah, in His methodology, in His fiqh, in His uh, akhlaq, His adab, in every which way the Messenger alayhi salatu was salam showed us His precious and blessed sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from the people of Ahlul Athar. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.